Hello and welcome crystal souls on this new piggy card talking about your next hot boyfriend or girlfriend. So as you can tell we have three pals available. We have pal number one, pal number two and pal number three. So take your time, meditate on them and use your intuition to pick the one and then when you really find a timestamp on the video directly or down below in the description. So let's meditate together and breathe in. Hold your breath and relax. <sighs> And choose wisely. So group number one, let's see the energy for you and your next hot boyfriend or girlfriend. So as you can tell on this one, we have a date being announced and with the envelope I see confession. And the fact that you can see the hand providing the envelope, I see this person confessing to you or stepping further and making the first move to take you on a date. And because we have number two, this person wants to create something with you. You can see two roses as well, which shows romance, development, you can see them opening up. So this could be about the confession, of course, but that can also be about you two blooming together, growing together and I see that as the future together with your person and then we have reflection so with the four of cups flutes this to me connects to what we imagine what we picture and to me that's a sign that you are manifesting someone you might be wanting to be in contact with or wait you know their message and this could be someone that you picture you know growing with or building a relationship with number four talks about stability so to me you're building a committed relationship with your next partner and you're waiting or envisioning and daydreaming about what this future can be with this person but just know when you are in that you know reflection phase or meditative state this is also giving more momentum and power to be attracting that person so what I, what I would do with this card especially is meditate or visualize and see in your in your mind's eye what is possible with that person if you have somebody in mind if you don't have anybody in mind just picture yourself being happy going on a date or just receiving a message from someone who's interested in you because i do see that person stepping in and some stability being offered to you because she's looking at the window she's expecting something to come and of course you can see that result here so yes i believe you are expecting somebody to come or you feel like somebody is stepping in very soon possibly that's why you picked this reading because you knew and you felt something intense was coming so that is just confirming that yes your gut feeling is right and this person is stepping in so let's see some qualities about your person with personality cards so we have cuddly honestly we have the water energy here and we have fire for the roses i see, I see someone passionate and to be honest you can see that scene which is very warm you know cuddling in bed having a good time together you can see winter, so winter can also be the season when you guys are gonna be together, cuddling, staying warm. <laughs> because I see the desk, this can be a sign too. You can be studying with this person or working with this person. Here you can see a bus scene, so I'm not sure, but you can be meeting in transportation tools. And what I see here is someone considerate, you know, might just be around you like this Prince Charming or Princess Charming and trying to offer you a lot of comfort. Yeah, I just see someone around. I'm not saying this as someone very far from you. Maybe someone who is actually looking at you from a distance. That's why the window, you know. Um, but also I see someone invested and wanting to bring you um, a deep love and a relationship that is going to bring you a lot of safety and security and healing. So expect someone considerate. Let's see more traits. From your future person make sure to pay attention to the looks on the cards because they can talk to you personally so the faces or the way they are dressed we have rap monster from i mean rm from bts so that can also be the energy from your person and to me rm is someone who is in charge you know that's a leader is also very confident so that can be the qualities from your person here i see idea and concept so expect a person who's going to be very inspired creative could be an artist as well and they are very charming and attractive this is what you can see on this card and with the sunglasses, this can be talking about someone who has their eyes on you. And we kind of talked about this with, you know, the window and this person 
at the back actually helping you um so you're not you know falling asleep on the window and hurting yourself so in my opinion you are attracting someone who is like that that savior energy and was very attractive but also very creative it could also be what attracts you the fact that they are very intelligent they are very talented and also very creative with their projects or what they want to do for the future but they can be an artist already or work in a field that is very creative let's see couple cards to see you guys's future Again, a bet scene cuddling. I always be here for you. I'm telling you, you are attracting Prince Charming or Princess Charming here because I see someone is here for you, nurturing you, cuddling, comforting you. So yeah, you can count on this person for sure. Let's see another one from this deck. And then we have messages coming up. I I said it. I said it with a cuddly card because I saw the warmth, you know, and here you can see it. As warm as a cup of coffee. And again, cuddling. I I believe that may be the, the love language of your person. Cuddles and, you know, just feeling the person against your body. That's what I see with these cards. But expect a lot of warmth. And as for the coffee, it could be also related to the date that we saw, you know, or maybe going to a place, taking the transports and going to a certain place, doing one activity. Um, but what I see is someone just offering you maybe a day to go at a cafe and have a drink. And as for this one, okay, there is passion again. <laughs> so if you knew all the dirty thoughts I have about you, all right, I think this person is just very clear with is or her intentions this person thinks about you romantically for sure but also with the spiciness okay i'll pick these don't act so distant so you can know indeed this person and i don't want to let go so these were the messages I, i'm just seeing someone invested i'm seeing someone who is attractive and attracted to you with just very impressive and creative um they are very considerate they have that kind of mom or dad protective energy you see and they really want to build something stable with you that can last in time so if you like this energy make sure to claim it in the comments i'm going to continue next with the zodiac grid so we can see the zodiac of your person that can be the zodiac or that can be the season when you meet or start a date. So let's see with the crit. And then I have more techniques to see more hints coming up. All right, so we have Leo, Cancer, Gemini, Aries, and Scorpio. I'm going to pick next. Was it Libra a part of it? I'm not too sure. But anyway, so let's see. And by the way, with the other cards... We had water and fire sign, just so you know. So let's see. We can see maybe a name or a place appearing and more signs. And we have quite a lot of them. <laughs> okay, so Cancer, Sagittarius is to add to the list. Aquarius, Leo and Virgo. So we have a trip, maybe USA could be the place where this person lives, or maybe a trip to the US can be part of what you guys will plan. So play, you, the, and precious. I see ID, so you can know this person's identity. I heard development, and you could see that this person is stepping in, this person wants things to evolve. So yeah, I see some development between you two when it comes to the romance. Maybe somebody will have to do something. I cannot think of the envelope too, you know, and we saw the envelope evolution, development. Yeah, indeed, that is the energy. <laughs> um, let's see if we can see some places. I think of Denmark. can mean Denver as well in the US because we can see USA. I think of Venice, so Italy. Let's see, I kind of think of Europe as well with E, but it can be more than this, of course. We have life in French written, so it could be that you want to 
you know, dedicate your life to this person or just, you know, live a long lasting loving relationship with this person forever. So life as a symbol. Let's see. Deal. I'm not sure if that means God in some language, but I kind of think so for some reason. So <laughs> yeah, maybe that's a sign for you in your own language. So let's see with the dice. And if that's God, it could be someone who is like, you know, God or goddess energy. Like their, I don't know, their body is going to just be so attractive, like designed by the gods. You know, it's kind of like that. <laughs> so I see someone faithful and playful with the dog. They are someone who is not going to shut up, you know, if, I mean, to quiet down, sorry. Uh, you know, if something is happening that's unfair, they're going to speak up. You know, that's, yeah, that's the word in a more elegant way <laughs> but yeah they are someone who's not going to stop themselves or shut themselves down because of you know whatever um they can have that dual aspect about themselves maybe their emotions as well can also affect their mood quite easily there's someone you are manifesting we have three wishes manifesting so one of them is part of what is currently shown on the reading I see a happy future for the two of you. You guys will be growing a lot together because I see a shift happening, you know, a new experience. And here we are, this. And again, I think of manifestation. This is in your hand, you know. And we saw actually with the envelope, this is in one's hand to make that happen. And I'm sure that's the person I'm talking about that is going to make the first move towards you because they feel the attraction. And I'm sure you guys are destined to be because... This is kind of like written, you know, that, that was part of the wishes or some divine plan. Maybe that's why God is popping and reminding you that this relationship is precious indeed and you will want to be together and grow together. Now I'm going to pick some stickers so we can see more hints about your future boyfriend or girlfriend. But so far we have a lot of them. Places, qualities... Even physical traits that you saw on the cards. Alright, so let's pick some. So, I see a lot of fun with this person. So laughing a lot. And you could see that with, you know, the complicity I saw on the cuddly card. The light turned off. <laughs> Let me turn it on again. It's just the button, so it's not spirits, you know, acting crazy. It's just this button of this lamp is quite weak. Just so you know. <laughs> Unless it was meant to be, but yeah. So cuddly, you know, and they're just smiling, having fun on this card. So you can expect that. Someone grounding. And that's because they're mature. They want something, you know, that will last in time. They want to write something with you. The feather can also talk about what we desire. Because I see the blue one, it's going to be about communication. Desiring to communicate, write to each other. Maybe that talks about, you know, the envelope and confession. Kind of see love as well. Or dove can be a sign, you see. And dove talks about peace, love and freedom. So, again, very connected. I see someone stable. And again, grounded. Mist can be, can be talking about someone mysterious. Or they keep things for themselves. They don't talk too much about how they feel. We saw with this other card, the attractive card, you know, the sunglasses. And I talked about someone maybe spying on you or looking at you from the distance. Again, this is what I see here. We have the beach, so that can be a place as well where you can be going on a date or that can be where you guys meet. Don't change who you are to please others. Be yourself and choose people that choose you. So this could be some advice from your person. And this I see as connections. You know, it's part of your DNA or it's part of your soul's contract, let's say, to be together. So I do see a connection that God, the universe, source, <laughs> and your spirit guides are sending you away because you guys are meant to be. Maybe the envelope is about this is written between you two. So it's kind of like you cannot really escape this relationship. 
it is meant to be, it is meant to manifest. And you guys are manifesting each other, you could see that even with the dice, so yeah, this is the energy. All right, so if you guys are interested, you can actually book a reading with me down below. I have the rings I wear as well linked if you guys want. But yeah, check it out if you are interested. Claim this energy in the comments to make it manifest faster. Follow if you're new here and I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye-bye. So group number two, let's see what is coming next for you and who is this future person that's hot and attractive. So with this one, I see already some hints. So with the sunglasses, this could be someone who's spying on you or just in love with you when they look at you. This could announce love at first sight with this. This is some advice as well. Keep it chill. When you meet this person, just relax, be cool, because this is what they like about you. That you're just grounded, confident in your own character, that you're not, you know, kind of being affected by the person's presence, for example, like, um, you know, being too impressed or something like that. So keep it chill, take your time in that relationship. I see a date, so maybe going for a drink together or just looking at, you know, the, the scenery and enjoying what is out there. But I just see this person looking at you with, you know, like hearts in the eyes or sparks in the eyes. Just expect that. So this was the first card telling you to keep it chill because things are going to manifest super duper quickly. You know, with the Eight of Roses, which is the Eight of Wands, this talks about speed, momentum, manifestations. And you can see this one is taking a leap of faith and manifesting fast or flying fast towards love. And I told you this person may, ask their, may have their eyes on you and they want to make you move very, very fast towards you because they feel the urge, they feel the connection and they don't don't want to lose their chance to be with you. I see the infinite sign here, which could be a sign you see with number eight, or you can see eight, eight, eight a lot. So expect a lot of connection and depth with that connection, because this could be a soulmate in my opinion, or this could be someone in your soul family that is manifesting fast and jumping, you know, in your reality or just manifesting and manifesting quite quickly. So expect this person to come very soon. For the seasons I see, we have spring season, and here I kind of think of summer, but this could be someone that you have met during these seasons that is going to manifest quickly. Because I do see that leap of faith possibly in like few days, possibly two weeks with 14 or the 8 of a certain month or 14 of a certain month. But I'm not seeing this person, you know, kind of waiting ages or waiting seasons to be with you. I see a speed and quick manifestation for this one because this person is ready and this person feels the connection with you. So let's see now some quality and traits cards so we can see more of them about what person you're welcoming. So someone popular with the first card. They can be popular with people or popular with their work. So, you know, that can be talking differently to everyone watching here. But they're gonna be very attractive and popular. They may attract a lot of people their way quite easily. Or if that's about their work, they are manifesting a lot of money quite fast. Maybe that talks about the fast and speed with what they do attract in their life. And that's because I see a go-getter here. Like, I want something, I get it, and I work towards that. So I'm not saying this person really patient. But they're going to be reliable and obedient. You know, they want to provide you the best. I feel like they have that soft spot with you because they just feel so much towards you. And you can see the wedding dress here and kind of like the honeymoon on this one. So in my opinion, you are attracting someone who looks sharp and elegant, but so someone you are meant to marry or commit to if not marriage, with this person in the future. Maybe that's also why I see marriage quite quickly because you guys just click and connect and it feels like this is the sign to be and you guys just will have that, you know, synergy between you two or complicity that is so strong, you don't even question things. So I do see marriage for the two of you or some type of common project, if not marriage, that is going to allow yourself to grow together and rely on each other. So that's very good to see. The energy is quite pure. Let's see more traits from your person. Make sure to pay attention to the looks as well because they can show you traits, physical traits 
from your person. So we have emergence. I mean, you can see this person is stepping in, taking the leap of faith to be with you, emerging, coming out of maybe their cave, because they might be um, someone who was watching you from the distance or, you know, starting to date you and keeping things chill or you know kind of like not obvious that they like you and then they're like okay i'm sure i'm certain that this person is the one so i'm not gonna pretend anymore and just emerge and show how i truly feel so expect that from the person and because we have green which is chakra energy for these um, with the deck so i see a lot of love emerging this person feeling a lot of love when being around you and you can feel that too this could be some type of, you know, heart chakra connection and transfer when you meet this person. I mean, you can see the connection, the way they look at each other, even the way they hold each other and kiss each other. Yeah, it's just very passionate and strong. I can feel it. So hopefully you can feel it too. And I see someone very, very productive. And I saw, you know, someone successful with popular and that is because they put the work into it. They take action and they show up. You know, it's not just about wishing, it's about taking action and getting there and manifesting with the universe and they understand that. So their root chakra is going to be very, very grounded, which allows themselves to be successful and manifest in the physical quite quickly. But they can be also very passionate in bed, just so you know. <laughs> Let's see some couple cards and see you guys' future. Okay, so we have these two facing up. I am not surprised to see these two because, again, that talks about that soul-to-soul -soul connection, mystical connection. So you are mesmerizing. Uh, no, not mesmerizing, hypnotic. Well, that's quite the same. But yeah, I just see that. <laughs> you guys will look at each other like... You know, you're like Evan Sand or like goddess type of standard of beauty. And trust me, you are attracting someone who's truly, truly attractive and hot. And this is why you cannot stop looking at them and, and it's kind of hard to resist them. So it's also what they feel, you know, that's also the title of this fitting. And I see that the way you guys look at each other is just full love and passion and attraction. This is crazy. So you are hypnotic and you're going to feel this. And as for this one, we have, we connect in dreams. So you can be meeting this person in dream state before encountering them in a 3D. So pay attention to, to the dreams that you have or some meditations as flashes or telepathic images sent by this person because their soul can be trying to communicate to you and make you aware that they are stepping in and coming very fast. So with the well, I see the jump, but also I see this as investment. This could be someone working hard or studying with you. I kind of see some boxes as well on the table, which could be gifts and with the flowers blooming. I just see a lot of love blooming between you two, but also wanting to grow together is what I see. And you guys' connection is going to be divine. Just expect that. Now we see some messages from your person. So what your future boyfriend or girlfriend wants to say to you. <laughs> I said you can be working with this person, but they can be visiting you at your own um, your workplace. Because that's what I see here on the scene. So when do you finish your shift? And that scene can also talk to you about future dates. You know, we saw going for a drink on this one. You can see the bar on this one. But that will talk to you personally. I just see this person wanting to spend time with you and making time for you as well. And I am so close to fall in love with you. I mean, yes, you can see that on the cards. Of course, they feel that love and they may express it to you very fast. I mean, I just see this person just fully in love with you. They don't really question things so much. They're just fully in. And I think that's the same with their career, which is what makes this person very popular and successful. So next, I'm going to pick the other techniques, starting with the grid. So we can see the zodiac sign of your person or the season when you guys are going to be together. So let's see. Okay, so we have Scorpio, Capricorn, 
Ares is crazy on this one, which I think connects perfectly with the type of character we saw, because Ares energy is about the entrepreneur, the leader, the conqueror, the father, the one in charge, the money maker, or if that's the empress, I just see someone who is nurturing and loving, reliable, and you could see these qualities, so I think this is perfectly fitting. And Cancer energy, so let's see. Next, with the other techniques, I'm gonna pick... The letters and a word, so we can see the name, we can see a place, or maybe more signs, we'll see. Alright, I see Korea right away. As a place... This person can read your messages or DMs, because this in French means read, you know, that's the little thing that you see when somebody reads your message or DMs. So this one is blank. I think of Tokyo. So it could be another place or where they're coming from or their origin. Life is good, indeed. So this will feel like it with this person. Buy and love and cancer again as a sign. Let's see if we can get anything else. Kyle could be a name. Lot. I had a lot of gifts, so I'm not sure if that's related to Christmas season, but that can also be someone who's gifting you a lot of things because that's the way they show their love to you. UK could be another place. That's so far what I can see here, but something can talk to you differently. You might see something more than me. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Let's see with the dice, more hints. Okay, so for the majority of you, you do not know this person, okay? You have that mysterious person right there appearing with the mask on, so yeah, a lot of mystery. I believe one of you may feel like I don't have enough to offer to this relationship. I kind of add that message to on one of the reading I did, you know, some type of, I kind of, you know, look at people and compare myself to them and this is not helping you to just be open for what you can receive and here i see that this person is actually all that you wish for with the candle if that wants to stay in the position okay so yeah maybe that talks about birthday party too with the candle i see your angels and guides manifesting this one this is someone who's not afraid to speak up like they spread their voice quite easily they can be someone who's meant to you know, awake people, just boost people, motivate people. I see that strong love and you guys living in a beautiful place together, building something that, you know, is going to be strong as a loving relationship. Next, I'm going to pick some stickers. <laughs> All right, so this person can make researches about you. I said birthday, so I'm not sure if that's anniversary when it comes to, we, we saw marriage, so that can be related. Um, this person can like your post online, so just tell you that they like you very soon. But yes, I see with a cake, some type of celebration. This person is making research about you. Like maybe, you know, just spying on you online um, with different platforms that you have. They find you very beautiful and charming, but that can also be their beauty as well. And I said it, that someone is just very attractive that you find beautiful. And they're trying to manifest you with the universe. They think about you a lot. And they're very, very intelligent with brain power as a sticker. So these are all the hints for you guys. If you want some personal guidance, you can book it with me down below for the rings and everything I use during this reading. Everything is linked down below as well. Make sure to claim this energy in the comments. And if you're new here, make sure to follow and join the family. And I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye-bye.
So group number three, let's see some hints about your future boyfriend or girlfriend and what is coming next between you two. So with this card, this is pretty much clear. We have opening up, but that can be differently you know, explained as like opening up about their feelings to you or blooming together, opening up, becoming your true self around the person. We have number eight, which can be representing actually, um, you know, Leo energy because that's Leo. But also this can talk about the infinite, you know, energy, infinite love between you two. So soulmate vibes, maybe twin flames and more. But I just see that you guys are just starting to be together. Destiny is playing part in that connection. And they want you guys to bloom together. They want you guys to support each other to become beautiful. But of course, Leo energy here. So you can expect a leader, a conqueror, a doer, someone very expressive. They're just in their flow, an authentic flow of being. And this may be what inspires you to open up and to be your, your rawest self around the person. So this was the first card. And then we have the little bomb dropped. <laughs> we have the producer plant. So this to me tells that you might be tested before encountering your divine counterpart, your divine lover. And the universe wants to test you to know if you are ready for what this true love implies or you were tested in the past. That can also be past energy. So, for example, karmic relationships, relationships that made you kind of pretty much reach bottom and then you moved up, you grew up thanks to that. So this was helping you to grow or will help you to grow to then be more wiser with who to welcome because you are truly compatible and not just attracted with the eyes. That's going to be very different, okay? Love that is coming from the eyes mostly never work so that is what I see maybe you was tempted physically to be with somebody but this love is different this person is offering you true love unconditional love type of love and this is why it's kind of like the universe is producing this movie in the background and seeing if you're passing the test and if so then this is when you present it the one so expect this because we have the snake, so yeah, that can be the temptation, the, you know, the, the attraction. Could I, I kind of think of the analogy, I mean, the story with Adam and Eve, like the temptation to eat the fruit, which is forbidden. And, and you kind of knew or you feel like you know if you are tempted currently to be with somebody. And if you know there's something fishy, something awful, this person is not the one for you because you see that they are not really honest, not showing up, or might be a player. Uh, yeah, just just see those signs and actually move away from these because you are presented somebody who is actually the right person for you. So let's see the energy of this beautiful person stepping in. So they can be a bit secretive and shy. Introverted is what I think about with this one. Also pay attention to the looks on the cards because that can show you physical traits from your person. Um, but yes, they're secretive. They might be spying on you from the distance in the beginning because they still don't know how to reach out to you or talk to you or just find the confidence to do so. So they can be secretly looking at you and trying to find a way to collaborate and to be with you. Because I kind of see them working together on something. So I'm not sure if that's about a project, a future project the universe was bringing to you to accomplish, which is part of your soul's contract. Or that can just be you guys clicking on one thing and then, you know, you just feel the attraction and the connection. This is someone present for you. And they can be very protective, like overprotective at times. And I think that's because they care so much. But you have to set boundaries to if that's too much for you. Unless you like somebody to be protective, then that's going to be okay for you. But yes, this person is going to show up and wanting to protect you and give you the best. So these were the traits. Let's continue with more of them so we can see what type of person you're attracting. I mean... You know, um, the, the Leo energy is actually the strength card. So this one is not surprising me because, yes, you are attracting someone very strong. And I said it, someone who's a leader, confident person. And you can see that. They're strong, they're confident, they show up. And this might be the little miracle that's manifesting between you two. And I said it, the universe is going to work its magic to make the two of you encounter and open up to each other and grow with each other. 
So this is the miracle that you are expecting. And please claim this energy in the comments as well to welcome it. You open that gate to make that magic happen. All right. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited for you because I do see a lot of things manifesting. Let's see with the couple cards what is going to be the result for the two of you in this relationship. What type of love can you expect? Okay, so I feel this person might be someone you still don't know the identity of because we have our first meeting. Unless that talked that talks about something that happened, but I do think that's future energy for this one, for the majority of you. So our first meeting, and you can see that event, celebration, which could be a birthday party, which could be some work event. I think of a fas fashion show, kind of, because they look very sharp and good looking. But like I said, this can be some type of event that is very important. Could be a marriage as well that you celebrate from a friend in common. You know, something like that. But I see your first meeting being quite unpredictable. Like, you're not expecting it, but at the same time, it's so magical that you remind yourself of this person that you've met during that event. You know, it's kind of like that. Let's see one more cobble card. Okay, I <laughs> I talked about this, you know, you guys are connected soul to soul and you guys have met before in other lifetimes if you do believe in them. I do, but yeah, I'm going to talk about this. So, this connection is something that you wanted to be brought back to you in this lifetime. This is why I talked about soul contract. This is why I talked about the universe testing the two of you to see if you guys are ready for this divine relationship. And that's because you want it as a soul to be tested before so you can be building the most stable and healthy relationship with your soulmate, counterpart, twin flames, whatever you call it. But I see that connection as something that is very important for you on the soul level. And because I see a lot of red, expect a lot of passion between you two. I see the red tie too. So that can be related to, you know, the the legend kind of, can we call it a legend? Um, you know, the legend in Asia where they are just tied, so they're linked by this red tie, soul to soul. And I think maybe that can relate to your own origins or this person's origin. So maybe Asia, especially China in that case. But yeah, I just see that you guys are destined to be and the universe is just pushing the two of you to be together. And trust me, that will manifest. Just be open for that. So now let's see some messages. So what this person wants to say to you. I'll give you everything. I mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> and I saw 8-8 eight, eight while saying that. So <laughs> divine again. I, and I do think you are receiving a lot of signs, like infinite signs everywhere, 8-8-8 eight, 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 a lot of the times. So that talks about the infinite love between you two. And I said it before. So I'll give you everything. This person is a provider. And again, I see an event. Food on the table, kind of like what we saw on the first meeting card. So I do think some type of event, event might be what brings the two of you together. So it could be a party, it could be a dinner, it could be pretty much anything. It could be a concert even, you know, but just some event that is the thing. Or you plan to go to that event together, you know, that can be a sign for you too. I just feel this will talk to you precisely, maybe in the future, because that's future energy, but I feel like you might know, have a feeling that something may happen, or you have the urge to go somewhere to one event that is very important, and that can be your sign. All right, I don't like you to look at other guys or other girls, depends who's watching, but definitely I see this person, you know, very protective and not really, um, really liking if you have your eyes on somebody else, even if, you know, that's someone you see on TV, like, they might be like, I don't really like that, I don't feel comfortable for you to do that, you know, and that can be because they, they don't, just don't like the feeling, or that can be because of their lack of confidence, physically especially, but yes, they will not like the fact that, you know, you look at other people around or just admire their body or something like that. So try to make um, 
like just make this person feel comfortable and not do it respect it because it can be very uncomfortable when you know another guy look at other girls and like they have their eyes on them when you just near them so I can feel why this can be very uncomfortable and this person may just cover your eyes <laughs> and just be like look at me instead you know so that's the energy next I'm gonna pick the other techniques starting with the grid so we can see the zodiac of your person if not the zodiac of course that can be the season when encountering the one so let's see but so far we had leo energy and for this one there's no one attack because that's a bonus card on the deck okay so we have again leo so that is confirming the energy then we have scorpio sagittarius Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries energy. We can get more with the letters and words, which I'm gonna pick in a sec. So we can see a name or a place or some type of message and hint. I must say, I'm seeing a lot of signs on my camera when I'm recording this thing. So I saw 111, 8, 8, I mean 8-8, 11 and I saw 1122. So all these to me are symbols and signs. So 111, new beginning. 1111, a wish coming true. Well, that can be when you guys will meet. So in like a day when I'm recording this wedding, but this might be posted after the 1111. So yeah, I feel like you might have been kind of activating this energy around the 1111. So November. And uh, yeah, I saw 11 and 22. So 11 can talk about someone very psychic, also very healing as an energy. And 22, I think of, you know, people bring people together. So that can be qualities from your person. I think of entertainment with these, or they can, they can have an, um, or that ent entrepreneur type of energy. I think of that too, but they can have a business. We have a show. Let's see. So the show can talk about what we talked with the concert. I think of China as well for the place. So Asia is definitely in the air. <laughs> then we have another sign with, um, I was about to say balance, which is French. Uh, Libra in English, okay? So buy it flower. I'm not sure if that's like, I don't know, like buy flowers, even though that's like buy B Y, um, or buy the show, or buy a certain place. I feel this person might be waiting. I would not be surprised if that's a long distance relationship for the two of you, because I kind of feel like you might see some places appearing um, from a CT, for example, this can be Seoul, this could be a CT person, we saw China, what else, Tennessee is what I heard, so US, I heard Canada for this one, could be, Canada, that, that's pretty much it, that can be twin soul, twin flame energy for this one, or maybe just a soulmate, and we saw that's a soul connection definitely between you two. So next, I'm going to pick some dice to see more hints. Yes, so I said it. You guys, you saw the first meeting on the card. So I do think you might not know the person yet. This person's identity, you know, is still secret for the majority of you. I see love, peace and freedom with a dove. I see someone who is very determined with this one. Even though sometimes they may feel a bit trapped or you can feel like you are trapped and, you know, not manifesting yet. And, you know, you might be doubting things or like doubting the, um, you know, universe manifesting with you. No, like just trust because you are, you are limitless, actually. Just um, a perspective of feeling limited. I see music because I saw show music. So music show, music, concert... Yeah, you can expect that. And you are manifesting each other. You think about each other a lot with this one. And this I see as the little frog, you know, transforming into Prince Charming. So they can appear as someone you might not be, you know, attracted to in the first place. But then you realize, actually, that's the right person. That's someone I can see myself building something and growing with. So next, I'm going to pick some stickers. 
Let's see more hints. Yes, go. That can be answering you like, yes, yes, that's the energy. That's the type of person. They have that dual aspect. We saw twin flame, yin, yin and yang energy, so black and white. Again, that can connect with that. Let's see what this one is saying. I don't know. I just feel like this girl is like, eh, I'm about to give up. Like, I'm tired of waiting. So if you're waiting for your soulmate or twin flame, this is pretty much the universe telling you, think positive about it because you're manifesting what you think about. So if you are desperate, if you're negative, I mean, thinking negatively about it and the result, then you are actually the one who's blocking the door. And so it's not manifesting. And I see... Rather, maybe that's what we talked about. The show can be a birthday type of celebration. Um, but this can talk about celebrating years together. You know, like the 11 days anniversary of dating or something like that is what I think about. Or that can be marriage in the future. You might be surprised who that person is. Maybe because of their status. And they're very creative. Or full of color, full of energy as a person. Might be that that surprised you too because they're so bubbly and fun they're gonna bring a lot of positivity like saying it's okay you got this like keep pushing they're very supportive as a person so these were all the signs guys if you want some personal guidance a personal reading or the ring i was wearing during this reading everything is linked down below so check it out and yeah make sure to claim this message and energy to manifest it faster in the comments and if you're new here make sure to join the beautiful family and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next readings or check my other ones so we can connect again Bye bye